Why do planes avoid flying all of the Pacific Ocean? Have you ever looked at the flight path and noticed that planes rarely take a straight route across the Pacific Ocean? If you've ever flown from the US to Asia or Australia, you might have wondered why your plane took a careful path instead of flying directly over the vast ocean. Is there something dangerous about the Pacific? Is it because of bad weather, the strong winds, or even conspiracy theories? Today, we're uncovering the real reasons why commercial flights avoid flying straight over the Pacific Ocean. And trust me, it has nothing to do with the planes disappearing to the unknown. So, let's take off and explore the facts behind this mystery. Well, the short answer is all about efficiency. The simplest reason airplanes don't fly straight over the Pacific is because they take great circle routes, the shortest distance between two points on a spear. If you look at the flap map, flying from Los Angeles to Tokyo in a straight line looks logical. But since the Earth is in a sphere, the shortest path between these cities actually curves northward over Alaska. This is called the Great Circle Route, and it helps planes save time, fuel, and money. That's why flights from North America to Asia often pass through Alaska and Arctic region instead of going directly over the ocean. But that's not the only reason. Let's look at some other important factors. Reason 1. Safety concerns over routes areas. One of the biggest reason airlines avoid flying directly over the Pacific is safety. The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest body of water on Earth, covering over 63 million square miles. That means there are very few airports or emergency landing options in case something goes wrong. Commercial flights follow a rule called ETOPS, which means Extended Range to Engine Operational Performance Standards. This regulation ensures that twin engine planes, like the Boeing 777 or Airbus A350, always stay within a certain distance of an airport in case of an emergency. Flying over the Pacific means few alternate airports, making it riskier in the event of an engine failure or medical emergency. That's why most fly paths stay closer to the land whenever possible. Reason 2. Another major reason planes avoid the Pacific is turbulence and bad weather. The Pacific Ocean is home to some of the most powerful jet streams, a strong, high-altitude winds that can either help or hinder a flight. While these winds can sometimes speed up a journey, they can also create severe turbulence. Additionally, the Pacific is known for frequent storms, hurricanes, and typhoons, especially in tropical regions. Flying over open water with limited alternate airports makes it more challenging to route around dangerous weather conditions. Let's talk about reason 3. Airlines are always looking for ways to save fuel and reduce cost. Flying over the Pacific without a stop always requires carrying extra fuel, which increases the plane's weight and fuel consumption. Instead, airlines plan routes that allow them to take advantage of tailwind, fast-moving winds that help push their craft forward. This is why some flights take different routes depending on the season and wind patterns. For example, a flight from California to Japan might take a more northern route to use favorable winds, while the return flight might take more southern routes to avoid headwinds that slow the plane down. And reason 4. Flat maps can be misleading. If you look at the globe, instead of a flat map, you will notice that the shortest distance between two continents isn't always straight line. Flights between the US and Asia often follow an arc-shaped route over the Arctic Circle. This is why your flight from Los Angeles to Tokyo might take you over Canada, Alaska, and even parts of Russia. It might look longer on a flat map, but in reality, it's the shortest and most efficient way to travel. Reason 5. 
Another lesser known reason flights avoid certain parts of the Pacific is due to the restricted airspace. Many areas in the Pacific are controlled by military operations, and commercial flights must avoid these zones for safety and security reasons. Countries like as the US, China, and Russia have large military testing areas over the ocean, which influence flight routes. Let me ask this question. Do any planes fly directly over the Pacific? Yes. While most flights avoid the middle of Pacific, long-haul aircraft with four engines, like the Boeing 747 and Airbus A380, have fewer ETOPS restrictions and can take more direct routes. Some direct flights between major cities, like San Francisco to Sydney or Los Angeles to Hong Kong, cross large sections of the Pacific. However, even these flights still follow optimized path to stay closer to possible landing sites. So, why do planes avoid flying directly over the Pacific Ocean? It's not because of myth of mysteries. It's all about efficiency, safety, and fuel saving. Airlines follow great SACA routes, avoid remote areas, walk around strong jet streams and plan routes based on fuel cost and wind patterns. The next time you're on a flight to Asia or Australia, check the flight map. You will likely see your planes curving north instead of flying straight. Now you know why. Do you find this explanation interesting? Let us know in the comments, please. And if you love learning about aviation, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.